In this video, we're going to examine some of the annotations in this model so that you can take a look at it and understand it better. And then we'll look at some of the model outputs. So we just talked about how this model was built. And when you get a chance to look at it, if you so desire, we're going to enable you to click in the cells with little red triangles and see in a little bit more detail what's going on. So you'll see a, an annotation for this zero, and you'll see annotations here for a lot of these cells. So please feel free to go back and take a look at those as you work through the model. Now when we have Precision Tree up, after we build our model, we have the obvious choice to, to uh, take here, which is this is the, the true um, decision to make, normal operation and maintenance in this class, in this case. But if we go up to the Decision Analysis and click on Decision Analysis, it would yield a number of results for us. One of these would be the Statistical Summary. So notice that what we have here are the three states of the world, and then in the rows we have different statistics. We have the mean or expected value for each, the values that we put in, in this case it was a minimum, a maximum, and a most likely value, and then it calculates a few other values for us as well, if you would be interested in seeing them. There is a risk profile that is generated. Take a look at this risk profile. It's not really so complicated. On the horizontal axis, we have the outcomes. This would be millions of dollars of net benefits. So you see some of our outcomes are minus 200. Some go up to plus 600. So the vertical axis, then, is the probability of that outcome. So we have color coding here. If you, um, if you carefully um, rest your cursor on the column, which I don't seem to be able to do at the moment. There we go. Uh, construct new. You get uh, a little tag that will tell you what the series is. But that's something that you're likely to know from the model since you've just built it. So all the blues go together, the greens go together, and we have the reds going together. Remember, one of the reds was also a zero. So we have two different probabilities of the zero outcome. One for the uh, normal O&M, and one for the major rehab. Down below you have the table that basically was used to construct the graph above. And then finally, there's a cumulative profile. So if you understand that this is the individual histogram, so to speak, this just takes the different values for the different distributions. We begin with minus 200, then we move to minus 100, and then over here we go up to 600. And you can see the height of the bar is the corresponding probability of that particular value. So each of these curves is essentially showing you the cumulative impact of the three outcomes that you see in the risk profile. So if you find those sorts of graphs useful, please know that they're there.